It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From State Farm Arena tonight, it's the Atlanta Hawks getting set to match up with the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers begin the game with the basketball. Davis to James. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> LeBron James wins one championship in L.A. That means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. Hawks have it. Trey Young to Carter. Trey Young. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. LeBron with it up top. Looking to make something happen. JaVale McGee to Caldwell Pope. Missed a wide open look. Vince Carter to Parker. To Trey Young. Not that time. Caldwell Pope to James. Cleans it up. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was a look of a three-point play. You always going in think you can get more at the rim. Has a chance. Parker shot off the mark. And that's how you close out on a shooter with a sense of urgency. The shooter was more worried about his landing space than he was the shot. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. I'm sorry, his name is not John Wall or Russell Westbrook. So why is he getting a free pass down the entire length of the floor? Parker to Kevin Herter. Beyond the arc for three. Vince Carter 20 years ago? Maybe. Not that time. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To Carter. LeBron James sends it away. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Nothing going here on that drive. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. Trey Young to Carter. JaVale McGee, huge block. Lakers at the controls right now. And he powers it home. Two more points for Anthony Davis. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. There you go. Finally, shoot your shot. LeBron into the front court. 10 to 4 is the score. Here comes the screen. LeBron James, two for three now here in the first. Jay, what makes LeBron so special on the offensive end? Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He can blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. Parker. 
just not going down. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Ooh, he teased me a little bit right there, but see, I like that. That's called a great entertainer, always leaving me on the edge of my seat. Los Angeles has the basketball. Oh, out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Trey Young to Parker. Here comes the screen. To Parker. Knocked loose. Lakers come up with it. LeBron James. He's now four for six. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Whistle stops play. Timeout here for Atlanta as they'll go over some tactics now in this first quarter of play. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Jay, it wasn't that long ago. Atlanta won 60 games. Right now, what's the outlook for this franchise? Well, the general manager, Travis Slink, has done a really good job in trying to build the culture, the right culture for the Atlanta Hawks. And that starts with their head coach in Lloyd Pierce. He got him as an assistant coach with the Philadelphia 76ers. And now he can also steal that tagline for the Hawks. It's time to trust the process all over again, but now in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, emphatic slam. It's not every day that you see a 6'9", 265-pound freight train coming down the lane. You probably want to step out of the way. Trey Young to Alan Crabb. Here comes the screen. A drive to the basket, but the shot won't go down. Bradley fires the three. That won't go. Missed it. Not much more you could ask for from the defense there. Now ready to shoot at the line. It's still early, so no real impact on that call but you know that they're gonna call this one tight, so you might wanna keep your hands out of his pocket. Avery Bradley, couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 77% at the line. First one, count it. Two for two on that trip. To Parker. The jumper's off the mark. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot that the offense takes, make sure that it has a 10 as far as degree of difficulty. To James. Nothing going here on that drive. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. LeBron James, a chance at a three-point play for his career, 73%.
Free throws good as they continue to widen their lead. It's the Hawks with the basketball. The screen sets him up for two. Deep three at the buzzer. That's it for the first quarter with the Lakers in command. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Here's Atlanta with the basketball. Trey Young. Jay, I'm going to say that you don't know this, but since 1980, the Hawks have drafted only four players to appear in the All-Star game. Doc Rivers, Kevin Willis, Al Horford, and Jeff T. Well, how about a guy named Dominique Wilkins? I'm sorry. Oh, well, interesting that you'd ask. Dominique Wilkins was actually selected by the Utah Jazz. To Trey Young. Oh, he had him there for a second. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Len rejects it. Just incredible timing on that slot. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. James into the front court. His team on top by 13. Shot from in close. No good. Trey Young. Screen coming. Parsons up against the eight-time All-Star. And stuffs it home. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Across the timeline comes James. It's an 11-point game. Breps. Here's a chance from long range. Oh, LeBron James, not much more the defense could have done. He hits the contested three. I don't know how he saw his man out in the cut like that, but that was nice. To Alan Crabb. Dwight Howard sends it away. LeBron into the front court. They lead it by 14. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Changes coming from both sides right now. Trey Young to Parker. 
has a look. Parker off the mark. To James. Davis. Nothing going here on that drive. Anthony Davis. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. I don't know what halftime evaluation will be worse, the ankles or the bruised ego. Trey Young to Parker. Hawks coming off a 24-win season, Jay, but not one, not two, but three first-round draft picks. Yeah, they got a big-time shooter in Kevin Herter from Maryland. They got Omari Spellman, who won a national championship with Villanova. Highly utilized in pick and pop. And then they got a very polarizing pick in Trey Young, who set college basketball on fire. One of the most gifted scorers you have in this draft. Won't go. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side, talk to him, express to him how much contact there was so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. To Trey Young. Runners good there. I don't think these kind of shots are tough for Trey Young. You see, he's always been the smallest guy on the court, so he's had to finish through the trees. He's a lot tougher than he gets credit for. To James. Damian Jones with a piece. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Curls out of bounds. Last touch by Chandler Parsons. New blood coming in for both sides. James to Bradley. Lakers down to four on the shot clock. Trying to cash in. Look out. Anthony Davis with the slam. Brow down, Ed, when you come into my town. Wow, you rhyming right there? Obviously. To Carter. Oh, he was wide open. And it's not going to be pretty when they watch the video. Someone's getting chewed out. Might have had an extra dribble or two there. But he got the shot he wanted. James to Danny Green. Strong finish that time for Danny Green. That has to feel deflating for the other side. They've really came out and made a statement so far in this first half. Another powerful dunk, but another oh, easy yeah, dunk. Yeah, yeah. When are we going to see some defense? <laughs> Nothing going here on that drive. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. The results, he's going to the line. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Trey Young at the line. Misses the first. down the second after missing the first. It's James controlling the offense. To Davis. Anthony Davis. Terrific shooting. He's four for five. AD, is he a new age big? Easy answer is yes. He is Mr. Versatility. He can do everything on both the offensive and the defensive end. He can fight the post, battle for position. He can protect the rim. Plus, if you switch, he can guard guards on the perimeter. That's what you love about AD. You need something, he has an answer for you. James to Davis, down low. From the outside, no good. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Screen coming. The Hawks with four to shoot. Parker can't connect. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Give 
give him two points. High percentage. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Nice pass to get things going. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. A lot of contact, no whistle. Jafari Parker rocking the rim. Late heave to beat the buzzer. First half comes to an end. So far, it's been all Lakers. It's Jalen Rose, and I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Lakers absolutely dominated the competition in the first half. And the offensive glass was their domain. They scored plenty of second-chance points, asserting themselves in the paint. These are the guys getting buckets for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Hawks may be in the building, but they did not show up for this game. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems, but I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. These are the guys getting buckets for the Atlanta Hawks. Game track. Second chance points. The chosen one has been a defensive force in this matchup. If he's not stealing the ball, he's swatting it. And that combination has made for an incredible half. Who was cold? Forget cold. This guy will be happy to be lukewarm at this point. He can't seem to get anything going. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Back to you. First half, very one-sided. What will the second half bring? We'll find out as we're underway. Trey Young. Defense, making the ball carrier work. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Here's your chance to break this thing wide. Flushes down the slam. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Hawks with the basketball to Parker. Vince Carter to Kevin Herter. And the rebound taken down by the Lakers. Rondo into the front court. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. I'm here, I'm here. I got ball. Ball, 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 ball. 
Vince Carter. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Ooh, I think people are leaving already. Damian Jones ah, tips it. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Parker with it. His guys down big to Trey Young. Jabari Parker, now three for nine. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Now a steal by Atlanta. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. Oh, if your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Trey Young to Kevin Herter. For three. Not that time. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Rondo with the basketball. His guys holding the big lead. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Here comes the screen. Vince Carter to Kevin Herter. to shoot for Atlanta going to launch beyond the arc and he connects on the first free throw the second and he hits all three free throws Jay the Lakers not just a great franchise but they are a brand in the NBA with LeBron James what do you make of Lakers oh from inside Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Here comes the screen. Time to shuffle things up. It's James controlling the offense. To Davis. Sizing up the defense. Davis to James. Five to shoot for Los Angeles. Bradley. And it's Carter with the rebound. Trey Young to Parker. Short jumper off the mark. Avery Bradley. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. to Alan Crabb. Here comes the screen. Los Angeles. They have it. Caldwell Pope. From the painted area, won't go down. Alan Crabb pins it. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Trey Young to Carter. 
The pass taken away by the Lakers. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort, it's off the charts. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Now the Lakers are going to call a timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. like both teams are making substitutions. James to Davis. Nice pace, sets it up and slams it down. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can because that's my only choice. <laughs> Anthony Davis blocked oh, away. That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Trey Young. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. LBJ with it. To Davis. Caldwell Pope. To James. Short jumper won't fall. Trey Young to Alan Crabb. Here comes the screen. with four to shoot four three and the reward a couple of shots at the line Trey Young is gonna get a chance at three here shooting 50% some yes some no in this contest nope first one does not go second three is good front court comes Rondo. His guys hold a commanding lead. Danny Green to Howard. That pass stolen by the Hawks. Add two points to the board. Rondo against the Ukrainian Len. Alex Len swats it. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Now a steal by Atlanta. Three quarters down with the Lakers in command.
It's Lakers ball as we start the fourth quarter. You figured they certainly had the advantage coming into this one. Jay, that's how it's played out. On paper, this wasn't set up to be much of a contest. If the crowd could have gotten into it early, maybe. But sometimes a team is so good that you never had a chance to even start. Trey Young to Allen Crabb. Hey, big screen right there, big screen. Knocked loose. Love the hustle. Sprawled out on the deck. Here's Rondo with it. They lead it by 14. Had a good look there, but it's no good. Trey Young to Carter. To Trey Young. Five to shoot for Atlanta. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. Bradley to Caldwell Pope. And a chance coming up at the line. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. Contavious Caldwell Pope at the line for two shots. For his career, 78% at the line. First free throw is good. Goes two for two. To Alan Crabb. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Danny Green to James. From long range, buries it on the catch and shoot. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Trey Young. Almost unlucky bounce. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jack. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. Alex Len has got two shots coming. A career 70% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. Able to convert on both free throws. LeBron with it up top. He'll run the offense. Caldwell Pope to James. Down low green. Strong finish that time for Danny Green. Jay, that's been the story this evening. I mean, another one? Another dunk? Another easy possession? I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team? Why am I the only one yelling? I don't see anybody on the bench yelling. I don't see anybody on the court even angry right now. To Parker. Here comes the screen. And the Lakers clear. Knocks it down from mid-range. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Trey Young. Off the mark. Surprise. You, do, you keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. And he powers it home. Two more points for Anthony Davis. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Trey Young, the pass taken away by the Lakers. To James. Shot from the lane, won't go. Another follow, no good. 
to Parker. Not that time. To James. Davis. To James. Lakers down to four on the shot clock. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. It's Atlanta ball to Parker. Off the assist. Now the Lakers going to use a timeout as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. Coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. James to Danny Green. James to Davis. Whoa! What a finish! This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving it, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Here comes the screen. Danny Green to James. Has a look. Wide open look, won't go. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late, but still you gotta make that one. Trey Young to Parker. Here comes the screen. Parker. Not going down here. Caldwell Pope to Davis. Caldwell Pope to Danny Green. From the outside, no good. Trying to cash in. The screen sets him up for two. Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. LeBron into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off with the defender all over you. To James. Danny Green to Davis. Able to convert inside. The Hawks will use a timeout. They're down big in this fourth quarter. And a chance here to empty their bench.
Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Trey Young to Parker. Hey, double three. Dwight Howard snatching it out of the air. Hawks get it back. To Trey Young. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Not that time. The Lakers get the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. David Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Lakers were merciless in this game. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. Check out the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Hawks really lost big in this matchup. And you could tell it was tough on them. And it's games like this where veteran players can be so important. They've been through these types of blowouts, and they know what it takes to keep a locker room united. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Atlanta Hawks. Game track. Second chance points. The Los Angeles Lakers were most impressive in the way they turned their effort into second chance points. If I was their coach, I'd be very proud of the team for the way they played with heart. Player of the game. LeBron James was aggressive today with his scoring, getting his points right at the basket. He put down a crazy number of dunks in today's matchup. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here's our top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.